everyone, I'm Jocelyn, and I'm excited to announce that registration for the 2024 W Club is now officially open. I will be discussing upgrade dolls, club information, and convention details, so stay tuned. This year's registration started February 22nd and will be open until March 18th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Base membership will cost $50 and an additional $30 per doll if you opt to upgrade your membership. The remaining balance due for the doll or dolls will be due at the time of shipping, which you will be notified about via email. Also to make things easier, if you collect with a friend or family member, you can purchase multiple memberships under one account. So that way when it's time to bid for a convention, if either membership gets pulled, you both will be able to go. You should only put one or two names for the second membership in the notes section so the team can make sure they can verify it for the convention. Make sure either of the options will be able to attend. I love that they put this in place as it was what I was most worried about. Shout out to the team for making that fix. Speaking of convention, there isn't a lot of news yet. Apparently we'll get more in the spring, but the theme will be Stilettos Out, an Integrity Toys fashion thriller. I know during the W Club presentation, marketing director Alain, um, who is responsible for this year's theme, said it was going to be kind of out there. That actually really excites me a lot. I don't feel like I'm going to be disappointed. Actually, I'm really intrigued, especially with the word thriller being in that title. I'm getting maybe a potential like a Michael Jackson reference. The event is near Halloween since it is the end of October so you never know maybe we'll get some spooky elements I absolutely would adore that but what do you guys think do you feel like it'll be like a spooky vibe or maybe I'm reading a little too much into it <laughs> just let me know while we don't know the exact location yet it will take place in the mid-Atlantic region the dates being October 24th to the 27th which means the in-person convention is back, but only 550 people will be selected to attend. Also, Style Lab will be coming back with New Face as the featured line. A pre-registration convention doll will be made available to all W Club members, which will be made to order whether you attend the event or not. Now let's talk about our upgrade options. First up, we have Holiday Spot, Danya Zar. That's really cute, Holiday Spot, and she has the polka dots on her dress. I see the vision. I love the pop of red from her handbag and the short hair immediately made me want to buy her and the face sculpt is beautiful. She was an unexpected choice for the fashion royalty upgrade doll, but a great one. Next up for the new face selection, we have Sweet Retreat, Reina Amadi. I was super thrilled to see Reina as she was on my list of girls I was hoping to see this year. Then to see her have a color palette that's very me is just icing on the cake. Without a doubt, she was my favorite favorite upgrade selection this year. The Poppy Parker upgrade doll named Angel Eyes is akin to the Jacqueline Smith character from Charlie's Angels. A Poppy Parker doll inspired by Farrah Fawcett has been previously released, making Angel Eyes an obvious companion piece. While a Charlie's Angels fan, she was the only doll I passed on as her face wasn't my favorite and I'm not a big fan of her outfit. I really had to step back and ask myself, why was I about to put her in my cart? And honestly, it was because I loved her gold gun. And I personally love a pop culture reference. But thinking logically, that wasn't enough to pull the trigger. Keep in mind, you are only guaranteed eight dolls, including the upgrade dolls we just went over and a convention doll, so really nine. But the rest you will have to try your hand at through the right to buy lottery. Even though this is my first year in the club, I managed to get last year's upgrade doll, Alejandra Luna, from the New Face line. While I think she's fantastic, I'm more satisfied with the options from this year's club as a whole. We should also be seeing more Tula Bell True and company this year. I recently added Hollis Hughes and Tate Tanaka from their latest collections to my own. Although I haven't unboxed them yet, I can already tell that Tate will be a standout. And as for Hollis, you'll just have to be patient. Reviews are on the way for both. Let me know in the comments if you'll be joining W Club this year and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video.